Montana Democratic Governor Steve Bullock is running for president. The 53-year-old Missoula native entered public office in 2018 as the attorney general for his state. He was able to win a re-election as governor in 2016. At the same time, President Trump won Montana by more than 20 percentage points. Bullock is the 23rd Democrat to enter the primary. The DNC has said that only 20 will make the first set of debates next month. CBS News political correspondent Ed O'Keefe actually sat down with the governor today to get his thoughts on President Trump and why he wants to run. Do you think President Trump is a good role model? No, I don't. Why not? When I first got elected governor, um, it had been 40 years in Montana since kids the age of, at least in my kids, were governor's kids. The first day of the state, I said, our kids learn from our words and our deeds. And let's start acting like they are. Our kids are watching because they are. I have plenty of policy disagreements with this president, but also that the way that he conducts in the office and divides people, um, how he belittles people. That's not the example that you want out of a president. I mean, when we're expecting more of our preschoolers at times than a president, that that's not the role model that I think most families want for their kids. So why do you want to do this? Why do you want to run for president? I want to do this because I think I can make a meaningful difference. I mean, I, I want everybody to have the same opportunity that I had growing up and more. And people don't have it. I think that I can add something. And it's not, look, I think Montana, or D.C. could learn a lot from Montana. I'm not naive. But I also think that we've hit this point where I mean, the divisiveness and the discourse, forget about D.C. I mean, read your Facebook feed. Talk to anybody around a Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, this isn't the country I want to hand off to my kids. And joining me now from Montana, CBS News political correspondent Ed O'Keefe. Ed, is there really room for another person? That's right. There is yet another. Uh, by the way, we counted at CBS. He is the 23rd Democratic contender for the White House. Uh, and he's probably not the last, believe it or not. But Bullock had a good reason he had to wait. He had made a promise that he would not jump into the presidential race until his state's legislative session was complete and he had considered all the bills. In Montana, they meet once every two years for three months. They dropped 300 bills on his desk last week that he had to get through. The final one that he passed or that he signed yesterday was a two-year budget agreement, and now he can go off and run for president. And uh, he joins a field, as we said, that, that stretches now from Washington State all the way to New England and down south, and uh, we shall see where exactly he will eventually fit in to this increasing field. And it's interesting that he's pitching himself as a Democrat who could appeal to Republicans. Is that your sense, talking to folks on the ground? Do you think he can appeal to Republicans? Yeah, the argument he makes is that he is the only Democrat now in the field who has won a statewide election in a state that supported President Trump in 2016. Bullock won by single digits while the president won the state by 20 points. He ran for attorney general back in 2008 when John McCain won the state, and he won. He ran for the first time for governor in 2012 when Mitt Romney won the state and won, and then narrowly won again in 2016. Does it mean he's a moderate Democrat? He will tell you. He's a liberal Democrat who has expanded Medicaid access in this state, fought back attempts to loosen gun rights and restrict abortion rights, and also has enacted some of the toughest state campaign finance laws in the nation. But he will argue that Democrats need to do a better job of trying to find voters in those states that the president won. Essentially, everything in the middle outside the coasts where Democrats continue to do well. You know, it's an interesting argument. In his campaign launch video, he touted talking about fighting dark money. Has he been able to do that? Does he have a record of fighting dark money? He does indeed, and it's something he's going to talk about frequently, Rena. Um, essentially, what they did is outright ban any attempts by foreign governments, foreign companies to funnel money into the state uh, political system, into campaigns. Uh, he points out that after Citizens United, when essentially that door was left open, no other state acted as aggressively as Montana did under his leadership to make it so that Russians, Chinese, 
Latin American countries, other European nations couldn't somehow funnel money into state politics. And so that's an argument he'll continue to make, knowing that it's of concern to many Democratic base voters, isn't necessarily a top of mind general election subject.